What is up guys, um, I know it's been a little bit since I've made a video, it's been like a week or so. I've had a ton of stuff happen lately, and it's been absolutely crazy. As you know, I did lose my older, failed female chameleon, which was awful. Um, but if you want to read more about that or know more about that, go check out my Instagram at Jake's Fish and Exotics. Um, I kind of told the whole story on there, but um, today I'm going to be going through my new baby animals that I got. Baby reptiles, actually. They're not really baby, like three or four months old, but still. Um, so stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So first, we're going to come over here to my baby yellow belly sliders um, tank. There he is down there. He's got a floating dock, UVB, heat lamp, the plant, and that's just a bone for their beak. He has made a mess since I've got him. I've had him for probably a week or so. Um, but he's a really cool animal. You know, um, my girlfriend loves turtles, so that's kind of why we got him. But um, he's super fun to watch. Now I'm going to move on to what's up there. Um, so you guys probably won't be able to see him. See if I can turn my light on him. Um, I don't want to get him out since I did just recently get him not too long ago. So I'm going to kind of let him settle in. I don't think he, yeah, you guys can't really see him, but he's in that cork bark. Um, I'll get him out for you guys in a later video for sure. But that is my new little gargoyle gecko. And I absolutely love him or her. Too young to sex yet. But he's super cool. I love the patterns on him. Lastly, moving on to my new veil chameleon. Um, this is a male. His name's Jumba. He's probably about four months old right now. Um, I absolutely love this little guy. He eats like a freaking tank. And he literally may be one of my favorites. He's super passive. Um, and that's a surprise with Veil Chameleons. They're normally not like a people friendly. But when we went to, uh, we went to look. And he just came right up to us. And I ended up getting him that day. And I fell in love with him ever since. I'm not sure how he eats so much with that little body but he's a freaking tank um but this is jumba and he is my new four month old male veiled chameleon all right going back to my baby yellow belly slider look how freaking tiny he is that's my hand he's literally tiny um he'll probably get to anywhere from like six to ten inches yellow belly sliders are super cool um, this definitely will not be his forever habitat. I'm definitely going to end up getting him like a 75 gallon, 100 gallon tank. And there he goes, back in there. But, um, it's super cool to watch him. And just watch him, he'll sneak up in that plant and hide. And it's just super fun to watch him. I'm also going to go back to him for a second. Um, if you guys are thinking about getting a veiled chameleon, uh, I would definitely suggest a male unless you're breeding Females just aren't as long lived. They can sometimes get egg bound and just die on you. And um, it's super sad. But um, I would definitely suggest getting a male. And uh, to tell the difference, you can see the point on his head will get a ton bigger. On it. and on his back feet, he will have he has like a spur. So you can definitely look it up, look at some pictures to tell. But um, males do tend to get a lot more colorful as well. Just real quick before I end the video, I'm going to give you a quick run through of the room. Um, everything is doing absolutely fantastic. And I cannot wait for some more stuff to get. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, please smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, I really love your guys' support. I love um, sharing this experience with you guys. And uh, I hope you guys stay with me through this journey. And um, thank you guys for watching.